previously on Alan Wake. No! Uh, no, 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 don't. Stuart's a nice guy. Ooh. Finish him! There's no blood. Fatality! Uh-oh. Okay, hey, what's up guys? So we are Okay. Okay, well we just got weird frames, but Let's okay, like so we're back. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. I might. Okay, <laughs> sure. well, we're back. I'll even give you a title for the show. Some more a city boy. Moments this before game. Okay. Hi. What is this guy doing? Hello there. You picked Hello. A time to visit our town. Hello there. Deerfest is just 2 weeks away. I know, right? Deerfest, huh? Did is you it? Hear that, honey? You have a Did you hear that? Wife. If you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Bain, by the way. Nice to I meet you. I actually yeah. do mind and please get your hand off me. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I know. So, I hope this isn't too presumptuous well, of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Mayor. That is very presumptuous of you. Vacation. In fact, Shit, it's fucking bugging me. I try and I try, but the sensitivity is just monstrosity. Put that up. Appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. That's a bit better. Okay. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. I hey, can you better. You better. Hey, do you understand? Do you understand? Hey, hey, you hey. Mind, I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Yeah, whatever you Very say. Nice. I got a couple this guy's of weirdo. Really and I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. No. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, best seller. Hello. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Barry. Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make <clears> sure <throat> that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just yeah, Barry. Know, shut up. I don't like you. Recharge. So, no. How is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry. We're just settling in. Okay, Al. Barry. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. I love you, you too, know Barry. He's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can so? always turn off the phone. Yeah. What did I tell you? He is my best bud. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Yeah, hi. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Actually, um, one second. I want to check something out really fast. So, give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. I had to make sure that the game was recording right. So I'm using something else to record now. Get back to the car. Oh, okay, to the car. Okay. E. Yeah, I'm recording we Bandicam now instead of Fraps, because Fraps is stupid. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's Stucky. waiting for us. <clears throat> I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. No. Okay. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Looks like I had my fingers crossed. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. <laughs> Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking Mr. for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God. Oh, I God. am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Okay. I can't believe it. I've got all Well, believe it. I got the cut up. I hate the how it changes that. When they took it out of the window. <laughs> no. You keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. You're kind of a weirdo. I'm gonna go over here. Sorry if it looks like I'm getting low frames. It kind of is. Of Not really though. Just don't blame Do me, me when you. Do me a favor, fall. Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. I'll think about it. Coconut. Coconut. Six in the jukebox. Okay. I do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. 
Yeah. Are yeah. you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Uh, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Okay. Oh, click it. Yay, now coconut. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> Lol. Oh, what is this? Ooh, coffee. I have obtained a coffee. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. Yeah. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky. Yo, to weirdo. get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. This is a bathroom. Gotta knock. Hello? <clears throat> Mr. Stucky? Oh, shit. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. You're one creepy ass okay. lady. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. This is creepy. I insist. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Oh no. This is kinda sketchy. Hey, you don't look that creepy actually now. Hi. Hi. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. I bet. I don't like you. I can't run. So I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna walk. You're lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <sighs> this really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. You're just a little weird. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> no. <laughs> This guy's got something to say. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn punk here. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you? Tom. I wish. Tom. Okay. The Andersons, they're, uh... <coughs> Local musicians. We're oh, really? For Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's nice. Hey, there's that late. That's that old woman that I, I hey, sometimes Tiny. call my wife. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. Now all I need is my XP. I got some flashlights, just in case. Yay! Who's that? Hey, what? Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Wait... Didn't we already get our keys? That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this Can is looking kind of sketchy. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. <clears throat> We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. Yeah, Alice. We'll figure it out when we get back home. Alice, okay. stop talking or okay. going into your room. We can talk about this later. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But was. that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Not since that book about the monkeys. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city you might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here. That is one creepy island. It's just screaming ghosts. Okay. Sorry, there hasn't been too much talking. There'll be more talking once like the game actually picks up. But like when there's just cutscenes, it's kind of hard to it's say. It's gorgeous, Alan. No, it's, it's not. not. Don't yeah. worry. It's all mine. You, you can, you can play, you can't play with it. It's mine. I know. I'm okay. This whole house is mine. Phobia. The fear of darkness. Oh, I wanted is? to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Okay. A fear of dark. What is that called? The darkophobia. I believe. I believe. Um, that is what it is called. 
We'll make sure I'll make sure to make fun of that later. Oh, click it a little bit. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Yeah. It's oh. dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on? Honey? Are you seriously? Sure thing. It's not Come that dark. Come on. God. <sighs> My wife. What I gotta deal with? Wait, is this where we're supposed to go? Let's just get the power on. I'm guessing, yeah. It doesn't give me a mini marker. An old generator had been connected <clears throat> to the power cable. Okay. Click it. Click it. Click it. Oh, that was easy. I am a. Wait. This door has multi hinges. I don't think doors work that way. Okay. Whatever. Look around a bit. Yeah, I will look around, and you don't do anything. Examine that log. I didn't get to examine the log. <clears throat> it was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. And even use the bathroom. What is that, like I a shun? I could be happy here. I bite my thumb at you. Sight for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Okay. I really like the lighting of this game, it's really cool. I think, I don't know why it didn't work on my old computer, I don't know. I think people said because you have to have anti-aliasing on, but I don't think that's enough to fuck up a computer, but... Does this door have multi-hinges too? Alice? It does. Honey? Oh my god. This lighting, look at it. It's fucking amazing. Just pardon my... A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to actually end the episode here. Stuff's come up, uh... Alex, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye -bye.